Welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement loading and handle any errors. So because of that, we are going to use a package called React Spinners. So search for React Spinners, and then let's click on that and go to the official website, this one. So let's copy that, and then let's come back to our terminal, and then install the package. I've already installed it, so let me run my application like that so i already installed that package so let's head over to the component sorry our project here and then let's create a special component for it because we are going to reuse that loading in all of the um, pages so let's call this one loading like that and then inside let's create one file and call this one loading component like that dot js so let's scaffold let's scaffold with rafce and there we go right so here let's go to the official documentation of the react spinners and let's see how it's being implemented so to make our life easier let's copy everything like that and then let's head over to the okay let's run yes okay so let's go back to the project and then let's remove everything and place that component. So it's all about reading, right? If you look at this one, we have the CSS and they are keeping track of the color and whether it is loading or not. So we don't want all of these ones. We don't want these ones, right? We want the class names loading and the color should be like this and the size. If the size is bigger, we can reduce it. So I think it's okay and the color loading okay it's okay so next is let's rec let's rename it back to loading component loading component so let's head over to where we want to display inside the movies so pages pages movies and here so let's require that component called loading component Let's check here, yeah, auto import is working perfectly. So now, how can we keep track of the loading? So let's try and display the loading here for now and show you that it will be loading. <laughs> okay, check it out. So let's refresh it. You see that it's loading here like that. So let's, re let's reduce the, the size of the loading. So let's go to loading component and change the size to let's say 100. And let's see what we have. Okay, it's too big. So let me make it 90. It's too big. 70. This okay. Okay, so now let's make some conditional before it will show loading. Right, and before that, let's also keep track of errors. So let's create one more component here. And let's call this one errors. My sometimes freaking up all right errors and then let's create a file called error component dot js right so i want to spend my time on this one so what i'm going to copy the component and paste it here is just some css small styling paste it here and you can pause this video and start typing right so I've added something went wrong, try again, this is my custom component, some display flex, mean height, so it's 100VH, justify content, align items like that. So okay, so cool. So let's come back to the component of the disk and let's require this one error component. Let's have auto import. I think it's going to work perfect. It works. Cool. So you can see that here we are keeping track both the loading and error, right? So here when we are fetching the the what do you call it the movies so we see that when it's loading when you get back the movies loading is false but here if you get any error we see that error is true so here let's check before before we even render now let's move this one from here before we render everything here this one the um what do you call it? The generous here, the great everything. First of all, let's check for loading first, right? So, um, before we display this one, let's cut all of these ones for now from here. 
all right and let's make some conditionals if it is loading right then let's display the loading component like that and if there are any is error if it's error let's also display the error component otherwise let's display our custom our actual component okay no let's put them in a fragment sorry in a fragment because like that and let's put them in a fragment like that and then let's place it here save it there we go so check it out now you see the loading before it comes we see the loading and then it flashes away so let's also try to trigger some errors here so let's change the key here change the key here and let's refresh something went wrong there we go we got it so let's also um put this one to environment variable right so like we did so let's also check let's also use the process.env and let's preserve process.env process.env dot is it um react app movie key so with this let's refresh and there we go so now the error handling everything is working perfectly as expecting okay so if you trigger any errors it works so the next ones we're going to work i think we are done with the movie no we are done with it it has worked with the trailer it has led with the um, sharing and other stuff so i think in the next video we're going to work on the trailer when you click on this one you need to open a model a model and then you can play that that um what do you call it video in a, a movie player or video player all right so let's do that one in the next video